You know what? Let's do a hell rush. I haven't done one in a while and we have a little bit of time left, so... If we can find a match relatively soon. Umbra Stygian. This time we have Penumbra as our champion. Um, consume Seraph. Packed Morsels, Flash Freeze and Crucible Extension. That's a very powerful starting deck. I always like Packed Morsels as a starting card. Crucib Crucible Extension is nice. And Flash Freeze... Yeah, it deals with backliners. That's, that's important in this clan combination. As we've seen in the last run. You don't need to kill every backliner every turn easily with like with Awoken, like how Awoken does, but you need, sometimes you need to snipe some backliners and Flash Race can do that. Henry Panda Meyer, Meyer, Meyer. It's an interesting name. <laughs> Oh, are we gonna do a 1v1? <laughs> Seems like. Okay. Founding seal. It's just so powerful we have to. Give me architect. Ah, no architect. Why? Uh, let's go with tremble. Trample gives us time to set up our incant, maybe. Uh oh. <laughs> this is not going so well. I was really hoping for Architect when I took that. Uh... When I took that uh, founding seal, it works. It definitely works best with architect. Um, can we do something here? If we get a lot of attack morsels. Oh, that's not enough. Still, <sighs> just not quite. Founding Seals runs are the best runs, okay. Oh, life steal. Now I want one of these guys to live. Which is why I'm gonna let these muscles die. So I can heal up an umbra on them. Because Penumbra, at such low health, might not be able to live against... Okay, this this makes things even, even more straightforward. Uh, we were close on getting the kill. Maybe if I use my lifesteal on that floor, we might have had it. And Tumbra Salt, Mind Collapse, Space Prism. Let's go Space Prism. That's great if we want to do something with Incant. Um, offering Token is nice. Crippler is not bad, but I prefer Offering Token. I also didn't check if there were Stitching Units available when I took that. With Offering a Seal, we have to go for the Stitching Units. Daedalus has damage shield, Fel has rage. Yeah, we're gonna go to the left here. Mr. Maya seems like... Okay, he just finished. Took his time. Um, I don't want that double stack to be honest. I'd rather have... Uh, no, that's not really needed. 
Let's cost reduce the Crucible extension. That's gonna be an important card, maybe. And let's put Consume on a Frozen Land. Spikes, okay. I think we can do this. My Founding Seal. Um. Extra Ember next turn. I think I want that. I want that more than blocking the damage. Magma Morsel can kill the backline, but will die. That's okay. Let's see what we get as Morsels. Okay, that's that makes for a nice tank with the train steward. Easy. It's sometimes very good, but not always. You also need to be able to make use of the capacity. I also value valued space very highly, especially in Umbra and Stygian and Remnant. Not so much in Hellhound and Awoken. I rarely took space in the open beta where only Awoken and Hellhound were available. Then I went to taking space a lot. And nowadays I take it a little less often. Perils of production is very interesting. I love it. Also like the helical. Helical is just usually a very solid card. Do we want another uh, stitching unit right now? I kind of do. Spell upgrades. Mm. Spell upgrades might actually be more important. Mostly what I'm looking for in units is totems, especially offering monument, sap totem, and uh, the frost, uh, frostbite AoE totem. Will, these will be nice. The armor totem doesn't seem that necessary, but especially offering monument would be amazing. Permafrost. Uh, not that much into permafrost, to be honest. It's cost reduce. A flash freeze. Magic power doesn't seem necessary right now. Double stack, no. Okay, not what I was hoping for. But it's okay. Ooh. Purchase spell. I like purging the spell here. I will miss Helical Crystallis a bit in the next fight, but we should be able to do without it. Just for this one fight. It's Danalus though. Might be a tough fight. We'll see. Penumbra can go on the top floor, I guess. So we have a bit more time. Should have played the Morsel on the bottom floor, actually.
I do want to block the bomb. Don't want to take that much damage from Penumbra. I'll take the extra ember here. Mm. I still goes on the bottom floor. Block a lot of damage with the train sword here. Probably should. <laughs> Top floor is fine. Let's remove this guy. Let's also remove this guy. I think it's time to put the train sword in front of the siren. Final wave. We have it. Siren is scaling well. <laughs> Who would have thought? I is Empire Forever consumed spike of the Stygian. I'll take a forever consume. That's pretty solid. Nameless Siren, yes. Um, extra draw. I think we want unit upgrades now, but we have almost no gold, so let's go to the other side instead. Ugh. We do have some frostbite. I'll take the gold. Don't think the frostbite is gonna do enough. Let's remove a shade splitter and the train steward. We're not very into morsels. They are nice, but not insanely good. If we wanna upgrade the penumbra with Monstrous again. We will need capacity. I think the same setup should work again for this fight. Ooh. Especially with the both sirens out already. Um Yeah. I want to remove the damage. We can easily kill those guys. <sighs> Want some space here, that's for sure. This frozen lands gets played. That's enough to kill the frontliner. I wanna be able to gain a lifesteal on the top floor. Look for lifesteal. Yep. It's nice. We don't really need it, but it might just stay until the boss shows up, so. Sixty damage is actually really good right now. Lamp, okay. Umbra stone for sirens. K 
cave-in would also be interesting. Ice storm, drain. These are both tempting. Mm, ice storm probably a little less. I think I want to go to the merchant of steel now. I'll take a drain. That does seem useful. Um, reserve, restore pyre health. It's not the upgrade I was hoping for, but we don't need it right away. It's still a pretty good upgrade. Having healing as readily available as this upgrade allows you to is very powerful in many situations. If you put frostbite on it, uh, not frostbite, permafrost on it, then it's really a lot of pyro healing. And that can be very good. You can heal back damage taken and uh, that also improves your score. Um, we have Trample now, so... Well, we have Trample in the Penumbra already. We have Trample for the Sirens now. And we are not fighting Shade Wings this time around. So I think I'm fine with not having that much backline kill. Endless health. I think health on the Siren of the Sea is okay. Let's reroll. Large stone. I think large stone on the Siren of the Sea is also okay. But I'm gonna leave it at that. The offensive upgrades can go on the Siren of... On the Nameless Siren. Let's upgrade. This drains you out with Perch. Henry Panda seems a bit in trouble. Their pile health is very low right now. Can't really make good use of the pack morsels here. Kinda wanna play it anyways for the encant. I should. It's a bit too early. Uh, this is a problem. Well, we can do pretty well with just one siren, I guess. Should have increased the size of Penumbra's floor. Let's do it now. I do want that li- I uh, can't get the lifesteal because of the sweep. Uh, I can, I can. Forever consumed allows me to. I also want lifesteal on this floor to be honest. I think I want it on this floor more. And we have to kill. Yeah, I thought about that, but we should always have blockers for now. Morsels, train stewards.
But it also helps with spikes and sweeps, so it's not the worst idea. Crystalline Seeds, Guardian's Amulet and Unnamed Tome. A single Unnamed Tome can be useful. To silence Incants, to silence uh, Scorch, give us. So where to next? More unit upgrades would certainly not be terrible. The most important relic is Founding Seal, I already have that. Health Banners is actually a very good relic as well. Um, yep, more removals is also very useful. Don't think I'm gonna remove the final train steward. I think my removals go on Frozen Lancers now. Mostly because I picked up health banners. And that changes my priorities. Um, health is an option here. <sighs> there will also be sweepers in the Seraph fight. They don't have high attack, but... Well, this is fine. We have multi-strike now. We have a bunch of extra health now. We should be pretty safe. There are also sweepers in rage fell, so I'm kind of happy I picked up the extra health right now. That I remember that there are sweepers in this fight. Um oof. We set up the bottom floor anyways. And I'm around the next one, yes. Do we need the book here? I don't think so, to be honest. Let's throw it out. And Zap is the most effective on the statue because it has multi-strike. Definitely want to increase the capacity of this room at least once. Um, let's also forever consume before this guy gains any more armor. And I think having one capacity just for lifesteal on this floor is worth. I don't think I want to play the packed muscles right now. I need a bit of a bit I need a bit more space. Actually we can have the trample on the front line, or oh, that should be fine. I'm generating too many morsels at the moment. But honestly. With health banners, that's that's an okay problem to have. I wanna have that on fell. Now it's a good time to play these pack of mortals. Mostly because fell is on this floor. Not really any other reason. up the lifesteal here. I value didn't count more than the step on fell because I'm just so confident that we can deal with fell. We don't need pyre healing at the moment after all. Uh, 
How much damage can we get out to fell this turn? Should be quite a bit. How do I do this? Oh! Like this. That works. Does it? It doesn't. There is no good way of hitting Fell with the Helical. At least I didn't see it. Oh, uh, did I... Did I miss the health banner? Proc? Just in time. Oh, Henry lost like 50 health. Debuffering, yes. More draw. We have so much ammo generation. <laughs> I'm not gonna go with... Uh, with Trample Penumbra again, obviously. I hope for Architect, but I will take anything. Uh, I don't want Gorge, I think. Maybe it's a mistake not to take it, but I feel like we can't really afford to take it. Rather, we could probably afford it, but it would be tough. <sighs> Architect, nice. So now we actually have room right away. Definitely silence this guy. I don't want to deal with the uh, scorchers. Nice. Um. Can't really do a whole lot with Forever Consumed. Okay, so this is nice. Regain the ember, play uh, this one. I set the wrong target, but it doesn't matter. This is going very well. Not that I thought it would go any worse. But this is indeed going very, very well. shouldn't spend so much time on this. We already won basically, so... Why waste time on a hell rush when we already have all we need? 
We don't need engine upgrade. We don't need muscle generation. I kind of like the dazed. Just because the final boss has uh, Ember Drain sweep boss and these are much more acceptable if you have days. Let's go to the right. Spell upgrades are where it's at at the moment. No, do I even want to reroll there? Hold on. Kind of like this. Other than that, I think we're okay. We'll keep. We'll keep this call for gold. And we need to keep in mind this is consume seraph. So play our spells in the correct order. Oh, this this is consume seraph. They there are no sweepers in this fight. Gotta be this. Um, yeah, this is not ideal. Let's Francis it's warm. Okay. This is our consume spell. Let's get a bunch of damage shields. Also, we need extra damage on this floor. I was planning to play that on the bottom floor, but this is actually important. Okay, very nice. Um, this is fine. Oh, uh, maybe I shouldn't have consumed that one. Uh, should be okay. Mm. Yeah, let's play the deep offering here. Okay, I think we are uh, okay now. I think Helical would in this case completely counter it, but I'm not sure how that works exactly. Uh, let's throw away the unnamed tome. Uh, I should have used it to calm, but I, I just wanted Seraph to shut up. Good chunk of damage against this wave. We don't need that. This is fine. Um, let's play Shade Splitter first. Yeah. 
Okay. No, this wasn't ideal. Now I have to play this vengeful shards manually. Whoops. I forgot I was generating mosses as well. And we win. Never needed the healing from the Heaven's Aid upgrade. So, this guy needs a 10 turn boss rush to beat us, which he's probably not gonna get if he's in the fight for this long. Yeah, he needs 18k to catch up to us. So, we should be the winners here. Unless he's doing some crazy infinite combo. Which takes five minutes to kill Seraph on the first turn. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, these uh, Saolin Chi Chi. Emote is now available for all subscribers, not only to tier 2. And tier 2 has a new emote, which is currently only a, a placeholder for now. I might replace that one with a, a little better looking version. At a later point. <laughs> yeah, muscles in Hell Rush are not easy. You need to take half half measure measure sometime. Just just place the muscles and don't optimize them too much. There we go. We managed to win this hell rush with a pretty sizable lead. Well, founding seal first and then finding Siren of the Sea and Nameless Siren usually does a lot. Uh, the morsel part of the deck was a bit underutilized. We didn't have any gorge or... Yeah, um, maybe I could have picked up one but honestly I'm pretty happy with the deck as is and having another unit in the deck might mean that I do not draw siren uh, the sirens that early it might delay one of the sirens by a turn or even both of them and that wouldn't be great I need them to on the board and scaling as soon as possible <laughs> 